Hello everyone and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. This has been a long time coming. I think they announced it about eight years ago. So yeah, it's been a it's been a bit of a road to get here. But the game has arrived and we are jumping into it. Select difficulty level. Uh Ah, we've got a little little square cursor. Uh we'll just go normal. All the tools at their disposal to take V on, but primarily only enemies at a higher level will prove a challenge. Sounds about fair. Okay, okay. Choose your life path. Select V's life path. Some events and dialogue options in the game will be different depending on your choice. So, the options are Nomad, roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. An interesting one, but not the one we will be going with because... Uh, the other two begin in Night City, I believe, whereas Nomad begins in the Badlands. And uh, I'm, I'm more interested in, uh, in in being in Night City to begin with. So, remaining two choices. Street Kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you got to live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small-time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. Or Corpo. Few leave the corporate world with their lives. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules. You've exploited secrets and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Okay, so... Out of these two, we are going with Corpo. I'm also very interested in Street Kid, but I feel like uh, this is maybe the more interesting choice. Because Street Kid, I feel like I know how Street Kid will play out with everyone already being your bro kind of thing. I mean, it won't be that simple, but with Corpo, I feel like there's going to be some very interesting interactions that could happen with people who hate your guts because you've been on the corporate ladder and stuff. So we're going to go with that. Next up, the body type. Male or female V. We're going male V. Uh, masculine voice tone. Sounds good. I'm not going to spend too long on this character creator. Don't know, I don't even know how many options there are. Let's just go with that. Skin type. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I just noticed... Oh my god, I just noticed how many... <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? Maybe this is going to take a little longer than I thought. I can get all scarred up, bruised and beaten. It's like your level of scarring, I guess. <laughs> sort of. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to rotate. It's the, it's the uh, the triggers. Um, hmm. I don't know. How about that? We thinking that? I'm thinking that. Okay. Hairstyle. Hairstyle. Got to get a good one. God damn it! I keep pressing the right stick to rotate. Uh. Oh wow. Bit too much for me. Bit too little. No. <laughs> Hard no. Uh, could be that. Definitely not. No. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's some interesting ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, not on you. There's quite a lot of hairstyles here. This is already, what, like 35? Damn. You know what? That's fairly, fairly good. Not too crazy. Would look good in a corporate setting, I think. The sort of slightly spiked up. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Okay. Hair color. Uh... Can I just suppose I could just like click the color palette, can I? No. I quite like that. Yeah, we're going with that. Okay, okay. Eyes. Let's see. Uh, oh my god, I keep doing this. <laughs> spin. Spin to face the camera. There we go, that'll do. Right, let's have a look. How many different eyes are there? Hmm. 
Hmm. Does that look good? Maybe, hmm, maybe a little wider. Yeah, maybe that actually. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, I color. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, okay, this is not what I was expecting from eye colour. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I just, I'm not gonna lie, I want, I want more normal eyes, I think. I don't think I want tattooed eyeballs. Okay, here we go, here's the normal ones, here's the normal ones. Can we get red, red eyes to match the hair? Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. What have we got? Uh. Okay, we've definitely cycled through them all there. I wish I, I want to raise them up a little bit. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, color. You know we're dying them red as well. Uh, a little bit too orange. It's got to be a red here somewhere. Wait, have we just... I think we've cycled through all of them, actually. Is there no red? Huh. Okay. Well, the, the, the red that was an offer, I think, is too orange. So we're going to go with black, then. Okay. Nose. Actually, you know what? That might be the one. Straight away. Straight up. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe 19. Keep 19 in mind. Actually, no, that. That's looking pretty, pretty good, I think. Okay. Okay, jaw. Oh, that's so weird seeing it, like, mold. Definitely want a thinner, thinner look. That's more like it. Yeah, you know what? That works. We'll go with that. Okay, ears. Uh, too, too big, too big. Yeah, I'm feeling... Feeling those, I think. Okay. Beard. Do we want a beard? Hmm. <laughs> That's a big beard. That's too big a beard for you. Uh, maybe? Now what about styles? Let's get rid of the moustache. Okay, there's just the three. Okay, let's keep it like that. Can I give you the same red that I've got in your hair? Oh, is that the same red? It's maybe a little bit darker? Nah, it looks... Oh, wait. Hmm. No, I think we'll just keep it... Hang on, is that the one? That might be the one. Oh, I'm, I'm not... I'm suddenly not liking the beard being so big. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? <laughs> I 
Maybe that one. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah, okay, I'm digging that now, I'm digging that. That picture looks more pink than red, but sure. Cyberware, okay. What have we got going on in the face? I said I wasn't going to spend long on character creation, and then here we are. <laughs> okay, that's a cycle. Maybe just something simple like this? Around the eyes? I don't think he needs anything too drastic. Maybe that? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Facial scars. That'll do. Facial tattoos. Nope. <laughs> Can't even see where that one is. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh... Yeah, sure, let's go with that. That looks kind of cool. It'll mostly be hidden under clothes, I'm sure. Piercings. Uh, I like his. I like the stud he's already got in, I think. Just like that. Keep it simple. Piercing colours, good. Teeth. Oh, no. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. Just, just regular then. Okay, eye makeup... Isn't six just, like, off? I don't really... I guess there's some on his eyelids. I don't think he's an eye makeup kind of guy. Lip makeup? Nah. Uh, cheek makeup? Nah. Blemishes? Can hardly tell any difference. Let's just keep them off. Nails short or long? Short. Now colour will keep that normal. <laughs> nipples. Oh boy. You can just turn your nipples off. Love to turn my nipples off. Body tats. Oh wow. That kind of goes with the uh, the flowery thing on the neck, right? Let's go with that. Uh, body scars. Not really seeing any. Are they on the back? What's going on? Where's... Where... <laughs> Where are your body scars at, lad? We'll just keep them off. Genitals. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Uh... <laughs> Number one, and... <laughs> We're a big boy. We are a big boy. Bushy, trimmed... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Let's just keep that off. Okay, there we go. I think we've got our guy. Points available. Hello. Character skills. Each attribute contains a set of skills. Attributes and skills provide different bonuses depending on your style of play. Skill levels increase as you perform activities associated with them. The maximum level of a skill is limited by the level of the attribute that it belongs to. Okay. Okay. Attributes contain the skills. Skills cannot outlevel the attributes. Got it. Got it. So, body determines your raw physical power. In addition to allowing you to force open doors, each level of body starting from three will add five health points, three stamina points, increase damage with fists and gorilla arms by three, damage with melee weapons by 1.5%, decrease movement penalty when grabbing an en enemy and wielding an HMG by 6%, and increases movement while grappling an enemy and enemy grapple duration by five seconds okay they all start out at baseline three it seems as well okay um intelligence determines your net running proficiency every level intelligence will increase cyberdeck ram capacity by four percent quick hack damage by 0.5 quick hack duration by one percent 
Reflexes determine your maneuverability. In addition to increasing your overall movement speed, each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1%, crit chance up 1%, and damage from mantis blades by 3 Okay, technical ability represents your technical know-how. It allows you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 5%. And finally, cool. Cool determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase crit damage by 2%, all resistances by 1%, stealth by 10 reduce the speed at which enemies detect you by 0.5%, and increase mono-wire damage by 3 Okay, so we've got 7 points available. I'm thinking I want to be a, uh, a techie person, a hacker. So, uh, intelligence, definitely going to be getting... Let's put three points in intelligence. I feel like that is... Uh... Oh, actually, that six is max level. Oh, interesting. Didn't realize that. Okay. Uh, technical ability. We'll put a couple in there. Uh, okay, so then that leaves two points left to spend. Hmm. Which one do we think... It probably doesn't matter too much overall. One in body, one in reflexes, maybe? I'd like the health points, you know? Well... Forcing open doors would be good to get us to the tech stuff, right? Let's go like that. So the only one we haven't increased at all is cool. Reflexes and body up by one. Tech up by two. Intelligence up by three. Alrighty. Summary. So begins your story in Night City. Backstory Corpo. Few leave the corporate world with their lives. Few are still... St oh, right. Yeah, that's what we read before. Okie doke. Are you ready? This is Avi. Let's go. Employee. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. That's not a good start. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. You all right? <sighs> Fine. Just uh, needed a breather. Sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Yeah. I barfed. It's just stress. Uh, a te va a matar. Job's gonna kill you. Everyone's a critic. Not dead yet. Somebody turned coat. Gave up our agents. Interesting. Let's say that. We had a leak. My boss called. Dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone in Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in our Arasaka counter intel, you're always fucked. Stand, gotta go. Stand, don't worry about me. Oh, no, you should definitely worry about me. <laughs> gotta go. Listen, gotta go. Work won't do itself. Buena suerte. Cheers, man. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in Night City? Play close attention to the tutorials and learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable the hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, okay. The Corpo Rat. Leave the bathroom. Track job. Okay, okay. We are ready to go. <laughs> Did this... This mirror just turned... Actually, I guess it's probably one of... I forget we're in the future. I was going to say this mirror just turned non-reflective, thinking it was like a game, like they just didn't put the mirror in, but it's probably genuinely... This can turn into a mirror or a TV or, <laughs> or something like that, I'm guessing, in the world of... 2077. Okay, guessing we can't go in. 
there. Can't go in here. Sup? Yes. You want something? Uh, just a chat. Can I chat to any of you? No. Don't know what kind of boundaries I'm gonna have. Right. Okay. Well, let's head out then. Active job objectives are marked with the exclamation mark. Okie doke. Hi. Nice eyes. Hello, friend. We want beer. New contact added, Arthur Jenkins. Christ, we were supposed to be here an hour ago. I got held up. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. You hurry up. Okie doke. Entering a new area. Arasaka Tower. Counter Intel. Arasaka is one of the biggest conglomerates in Cyberpunk universe, I think. It's like a huge... Ah, oh, hello. It's a huge company. Now we're evacuating the rest of our facilities in that part of Europe. What's the status of the three? They're dead. Once everyone else is safe, we'll issue a statement to the media. Saying what? A tragic accident during routine security system maintenance would be my bet. Hate those tragic accidents. Okay, anything we can take a look at over here? I'm guessing probably not in this opening section. Probably more of a tutorial stick to the path kind of deal. Mr. Jenkins asked for you. He's in his office. Okie doke. Hey, V. It's been ages. What's up, man? It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall. East Coast, remember? I remember. How have you been? <laughs> I didn't know you were in Night City. How have you been? Uh, you know how it is. A week ago, I was still in Cape Town. I heard you're in Counter Intel. You must have a shit show on your hands right now after Frankfurt. Jenkins is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? Why? What are people saying about Jenkins? What's everyone say about Jenkins? That he's effective. Like any psychopath. Apparently, he's gone a little crazier lately. Hey, he's in a tough spot. The director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. Oof. And you? Who do you work under? Abernathy. She's really good. Came up with the whole Cape Town ploy on her own. Abernathy. The bitch who burned my boss in the promotion to Spec Ops Director. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah. They do indeed. I'm liking V's voice. Tell me about Cape Town. Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know about it? Arming local conflicts in Africa. I didn't know that was you. It was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed fishing boats. Same old circus, but hey, that's how wars are won. Well, I gotta go. Listen, sorry, uh, in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. Okay, job updated. We're going down that way. Anything to talk about over here? Oh, you can actually talk to these guys. I need a nap. Just a short one. Okay, just a little. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Emergency protocols active. System security confirmed. I should also mention, by the way, uh, seeing as there's been quite a bit of talk about it in the last few days, uh, this game not so great for people with epilepsy. Uh, there are a few sequences I've read that uh, have these patterns of flashing lights which are quite common triggers the way the patterns are set up. So uh, if you do suffer from that, you may not want to watch. Uh, just a warning there. Please enter the antechamber. Visitor authorization granted. Are you online? Hey Jenkins. Have a seat, V. Be right with you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the Sea of Clouds. They're about to begin. 
What's the situation? The Sea of Clouds, eh? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just as we thought. Sea of Clouds is a location I know from Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> you know what to do. Start now. Okay. Okay. Uh... Uh... That was unexpected. Hello? Director Abernathy. I watched the boat. What the hell was that? The deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. Sounds like Abernathy is the better, the better person I here. I hate that bitch. <laughs> I always have. It's not the first time she's screwed you. Let's stoke the fires. This isn't the first time Abernathy set you up. No, not the first. Smeared me in front of Japanese execs, so she'd be the one promoted to director of spec ops. And now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try anything. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <laughs> Effective. What would you do in my position? I don't know, but did you see how your liquid hung in the air there, my dude? That was pretty interesting. Uh, you need to defend yourself, man. Let's stoke these fires. You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doorman. You're right. Smack her once, but hard. She'll respect you. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. What have you got there? Take this. What is it? A data shard? A data shard. Proof of my trust. Go on, take it. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates. Driver, chief of security, lover, lover's husband, everything. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. Oh, <laughs> I didn't- You said it. I need to defend I didn't think myself. I was going to be told to do it. This is a huge gamble. If anyone finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. That's true. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are, thanks to me. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. And if I refuse? What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> this isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Oh, now we understand each other much better. Can't go wrong with cash. Credit ship transactions are traceable. Paper disappears as soon as you spend it. What can I say? Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the core task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Of course not. Okay, Jenkins, Night City Counter Intel. I need an analysis of the legislative it came up with talk to Jenkins in green on the on the right there, but I think that was flashing green to say it was completed. And now we're moving on. Yeah, yeah. I Leave Jenkins' office is now me. flashing green. Sup? So, uh, reports I asked for. Send them to me. I'm busy. I don't have the time. Just send them my way. Read the report on your personal terminal. Hey, you alive? I think in the Viper Pit. Viper Pit's putting it lightly. Viper Pit. Couldn't have said it better. You in some trouble? Not yet. 
Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. Okay. Personal terminal. Personal terminal. In here? Uh -huh. I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Oh yeah? This is about Frankfurt? Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me. Quick version. Our agent at Biotechnica suspects they might be on to him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point? They're clean. Like we run orphanages clean. Bleached server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Xfil or let him keep looking? What are the risks? Projected risks? Limited threat to life. Not Biotechnica style. Blackmail's possible. Leveraged against false accusations in the media. The guy has kids. He'd crack. Okay. Uh... I'm going to trust your judgment on this that they've probably got him figured out. So he's probably not going to find anything out from continued digging because they've already got him pegged. So pull him out. Pull him out, but calmly. Don't raise any eyebrows. Otherwise, they'll catch on. Jenkins will be livid. I'll handle Jenkins. Understood. No point keeping an asset in there if he's been found out, is there? Okay, what have we got here? Open drawer? What have we got in the drawer? Anything? Use cognitive booster. Wonder what that did. <laughs> Trauma team card. Pick up card. And put it back down. <laughs> okay. Computer. Let's go. Messages. What have we got? Vacation with the stars. Have you been to Thailand, Morocco, and Alaska more times than you can count? Looking for an adventure that isn't just another tour around Europe? Do you want to see how the world's biggest film and brain dance, brain dance stars relax and party? Do you want to see the stars among the stars? Now you can. The Crystal Palace is offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to book an Earth view apartment along with a cosmically gargantuan selection of vouchers for any of our award-winning restaurants and casino comps to get lady luck on your side early. And don't worry, we do everything to assure your stay is heavenly, but your bill isn't astronomical. Previous week's results. Your biodata indicators are reading abnormally. High levels of cortisol, cat catocholamine, <laughs> and adrenaline persist from previous results. Hormone blocker usage is prescribed for only two weeks before requiring a baseline reset. But your usage has continued beyond three weeks. Recommendation, meet with your trainer to, to prepare a recovery plan. Huh. Post-mortem on Operation Wormy Apple. The meeting of the Department of Operational Oversight Committee finds as follows regarding Operation Wormy Apple. The operation was executed without following proper procedure, thus putting agent lives and more importantly company reputation in jeopardy. The operation's success is due solely to the fact that Petrochem committed errors which prove more costly than our own. All personnel involved in planning the operation will be subject to internal audit. We find the death of the Prague contact cause toxin-induced cardiac arrest a direct result of poor planning. Required action. Investigate all stages of operation planning from reconnaissance to implementation with the aim of isolating irregularities in procedure and or judgment. New space. We are pleased to announce the opening of a new space in our Night City headquarters. Our scientists have meticulously curated authentic rainforest flora and fauna in designing our very own experimental self-sustaining ecosystem. More details coming soon. Okay, let's look at our files then. Just the one. Report summary, Noosa and Militech. After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we could we did not confirm any active Noosa efforts against Arasaka assets or opera operations in federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be drawn regarding potential threats from Militech. Although the corporation has obvious close ties to the Noosa government, that's new United States of America, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to much tighter control on internal procedure and information flows. We must rely on unconfirmed circumstantial evidence obtained by our field agents for the time being. Conclusion, further humint gathering required. Don't know what that means. Uh, current, data are, current data are circumstantial and do not allow for indisputable conclusions. 
And what's on the net? Oh my goodness, there's a lot on the net. Arasaka? Okay, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Is there this much stuff for everything? Superior Arthur Jenkins training, creating and maintaining intelligence networks, establishing defensive corporate assets in the event of armed conflict, crisis impact analysis. Employee evaluation over a two-year period of active duty, the agent has completed six defensive and five offensive operations. Areas of proficiency, identifying corporate espionage. Uh, okay. Time tracker. In order to... I don't know what that is. Nothing we can read, I don't think. Mission report. A full reconnaissance was executed on Arasaka factory premises in the district of Watson. Agent V tracked and intercepted a spy from Baskin undercovering during the operation. Three Class H workers were killed. The spy is suspected to have been acting upon Militech orders. Agent V exhibits a high degree of personal initiative and has proven himself an effective autonomous operative, albeit difficult to control. As a clever and ambitious individual, Agent V is suited to working in the field. Moreover, Agent V is committed to completing her assignments and fulfills an appropriate amount of overtime. He does not display any designs of disloyalty against Arasaka. I'm confused why they're using both her and he for me. Did I miss... Did I not notice, like, was there a pronoun choice thing in the character creator and I missed it or something? Because they're calling me her there. Agent V is com com committed to completing her assignments. But then he does not display any dis any signs of disloyalty. So I'm not sure if I... Maybe I missed something. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh, right. What is this? Looking for a career change. Uh, join Netwatch. Read it. Tracking down Netrunner renegades, combating demons, rebuilding the American net. These are just some of the daily tasks entrusted to the special agents at Netwatch. If you'd rather lose your eyes than your deck, if an encounter with Mephistopheles is just another walk in the park for you, then maybe it's time you joined our team. Here's what you can expect to contribute as a Netwatch agent. Patrolling all public access levels of the net, tracking and eradicating illegal Netrunner activity, hunting down dangerous rogue AI, exploring and neutralizing threats in the oldest parts of the deep net, prohibiting the movement of people and AI across the black wall, assisting in the expansion of secure net space for public use. Thanks to Netwatch, thousands of people can freely use approved search engines and other net services without fear of falling victim to nefarious demon threats. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we serve tirelessly to eliminate corrupted data forts, safeguard our information, and arrest dangerous cyber criminals. Do you have what it takes? Apply today. So for those who are unaware, uh, basically in the cyberpunk universe, there was at one point uh, a super genius hacker man who was under attack and in retaliation he released this virus onto the internet and the virus like completely destroyed the internet. Uh, it spawned all these rogue AIs that were taking over parts of the internet. The internet became somewhere that you cannot connect to basically because it is, comp is like almost completely ruined. Uh, so, uh, the black wall, I'm pretty sure, is, like, a really big firewall that separates the new internet that is being created from the old internet. Uh, so, yeah, and then there's people, obviously, that still access the old one, uh, but it's, it's dangerous. It is dangerous stuff. This is just, I have, I have very basic information on the cyberpunk universe, uh, just reading a couple of, like... Because obviously it's a, the cyberpunk is a whole big thing prior to the game, obviously. So I just wanted to have a little bit of background knowledge on what had happened in the world going into it. So I think I, I think it was an IGN article I looked at, giving details on things that happened in the universe. Okay, let's head to the garage. The world's going to tear us apart. Scan me. Access granted. Appreciate it. Oh, nice car. Please provide your destination. Bring up district analytics first. Bring up district analytics. Increased NCPD presence and activity has been reported in Haywood. No official statement has been forthcoming. Intercepted radio communications suggest MaxTac has been sent to the area. A widespread power failure has been reported in Santo Domingo. 
All other districts exhibit activity within expected parameters. Okay, let's head to the bar. Destination, Lizzie's Bar. Noted. En route. Take a drink. Plug it down, and then let's get the news going. Oh man, look at that. A conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in a neural stabilization system. Five European Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still looking into what might have caused this shocking incident. It was Jenkins. <laughs> it was Jenkins. Biotechnica provided devices. The corporation's representatives have, as yet, refused to comment. Our reporter is on the scene. We'll have updates on developments as they come to light. Stay with M54 News for the latest. Damn, man. Get a load of this. Holy. This looks cool. Hello, V. Yes? We weren't scheduled to connect till the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Is everything in order? Everything's dandy. Things are only all right. I'm dealing with a temporary nuisance. Nothing you should worry about. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. Oh, I'm really excited to be exploring this city, man. It's supposed to be a pretty big city. No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. Very curious how uh, other very curious how other life paths start because obviously they're going to be very different they all they all become the same thing eventually but Fuck's your problem psycho suit this look like a land I'm not attacking I'm not attacking Could've fucking crushed us out of my way what who the fuck are you to say that to me our soccer counter intel we done here I'm not attacking this is this is definitely not going to be a oh, attack focused playthrough used to be a oh. Corpos. Fucking do whatever. I think the world's theirs. We're gonna be using our smarts as much as possible. I think that's the route I'm gonna go here. Because you know, we're not a street kid. We're not a nomad who's been living out in the badlands. We're a corporate person. We've been up cor working up the ladder. That doesn't lend itself to uh, front door like everyone else. Lots of fist fights. Probably some still, but not as much as the others, so. Keep an eye on the AV. Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. Cheers. Meet with Jackie. Hello, what's going on down here? Yeah, got something to say? Nope, apparently I do not. <laughs> I'm off the clock, hon. Okay, your lips didn't move. <laughs> What's in here? The lose? Okay. Jackie, Jackie, Jack, 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 Jackie, down here.
Yeah. Don't come here often, do ya? <laughs> it's good to see you, cabron. Good to see you now too. Sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking. As long as you don't get flatlined. Yeah, you know how it is. Can't complain. Eddie's is the money. Is their the currency. Let me hear about this problem of yours. This needs to stay between us. Jackie, before I start, this stays between us. Por supuesto. I'm serious. This thing, it could ruin me. So could I. You do realize who you're talking to, right? The guy who's done this before. You remember what happened in Mexico, at the border? I peep one word. I know, you saved my ass. Word about the cartels that gotten out. But it didn't. And this won't either. That's why you came to see dear old Jackie. Seems like a trustworthy person then. Hand over the data shard. Data shard. Take it. Won't come cheap. It'll have to be done on the sly. No trail. Hard eddies only. Got the money. Full crew job for sure. Techie, maybe two. A runner with a gold-plated brain. And a driver with wheels from hell. Not to mention a solo. Huh. The piece I'm missing. That what you need from me? My trigger finger to zero this lady? I need someone I can trust. Delicate situation, I know. That's why I need somebody I can trust. This ain't no delicate situation, hermano. It's a hit job, plain and simple. You know how Arasaka operates. Or, okay, maybe you don't. This isn't a professional request I can refuse. But I can, and I am. And you should too. You turning me down? Now, what do you say we liquor up and talk life? Gracias, mamita. Double tequila with grenadine and lime. Nothing better for drowning nerves. To this. To this. Was that a toast? What the hell does that even mean? You raise a glass to your mama, your hermana, to the mamacita you'll meet at the bar, but this doesn't say a damn thing. <laughs> to this. This job and all the rest of that corpo bullshit. You know what it is? Un pacto con el diablo. Been saying it all along. Soldiers sold to those Arasaka fuckers. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. Think I have a choice? Think I have a choice? If I refuse, they take everything and leave me nothing. Now well, let them. They'll also take the fist they got gripping your balls. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty picky about who I let touch my balls. <laughs> and Saburo and his matones, oh, they definitely do not make the cut. <laughs> I like Maybe Chucky. Someday. But for now, I'm still well within their reach. You'll always be within reach. Always reach. Hey, you lost? Got a problem? V, is that right? Uh-oh, am I found out? You're from headquarters. You're from Arasaka HQ. Is there a problem? Are you here about Frankfurt? We're here for you. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. Task's not your concern. No, don't believe I will. That's between me and Jenkins. Ugh, fuck! How you feeling? Pretty sharp dive, huh? Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. In two minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination procedures. How'd you find out? <laughs> How the hell did you find out? That is not your concern. The data, now. Fuck. We don't have any other option. I'd like to tell him to go fuck himself, but... The only option we have is to surrender the shard, so there you go. 
Information's on the shard. Smart choice. <sighs> we done. With the formalities? Yes. But I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding her of a piece of rot like you. Stand up. You're coming with us. Jackie, on, little help? Yes, man. I think you fellas might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body was your style, let alone a healthy option. Get out cloud. Is that a threat? Well, you start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? Before you know it, somebody might die today. We have what we came for. We'll do for now. Jackie's a good man. We like Jackie. Shit. Like, like shit. My throat's like sandpaper. I'm not sure I can breathe. It's like when my little primito was ditching drugs. Nasty chills, trembling hands, cold sweat, and dry even. Y yeah, sounds about right. Hey, hey, should I get you to a ripper? Or, I guess, maybe Trauma Team's on its way. I've lost everything. TT policy's gone, Jack. So are my biochem controllers, company pad. I mean, they've seized my bank account. Not frozen, seized. Jesus, these fuckers move fast. You sure you feel okay, though? I mean... Just need to catch my breath. Give me a minute. Get my shit together. That... That'd be that, Jack. Just lost control of my life. Completely. I'd say you got it back. You couldn't say no to him. So they said it to you. This is a turn for the better. You'll see. Besides, you haven't lost everything. Still have a friend? About to say I, I still have a friend? That's sweet. <laughs> no, dumbass. You still got that wad for the hit job, don't you? Probably some fat ass chunk of cha chain. Just right for a new start. That's right, fool. Buckle up. Hey, you hearing all right? Don't look so high. V! Uh -oh. V! Uh -oh. Hey, mano. Uh, your new life? Starts now. Cool. Let it begin. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. New day here means a hundred new arrivals, but only half these gods will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Wayland Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. <laughs> okay, we've some time has now passed. Oh, still going. <laughs> We're doing lots of jobs with Jackie. Cool, cool. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. 
probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Half a year later. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Tutorial. Sure, a little warm-up can't hurt. Sure. Why the hell not? 